Wow. So you're telling me they made a roof that doesn't block sun. <laughs> so they sell you another product. Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, a little bit of a different setup here, but we're actually uh, gonna answer a question of what is the most expensive machine you can order off a website. So we're gonna be taking a look at some of the biggest machines that k and and players have to offer because they're likely to be the most expensive and we're gonna build them out. And I'm gonna show Cass how expensive this really gets. Let's figure that out. I have, I pulled up the Can-Am website, which is where I want to start. Uh, hands down, it's going to be one of the performance machines. So I think it's the X3, but part of me thinks it's, it might be the Defender when you fully load it up. I'm not sure. Depends We're, which one has more options, I guess. Well, the Defender, you can do like a four seater hunter's edition or like homesteaders or whatever it is. And it just gets insane. But I think the X3 like fully kitted out might be it. Okay. We're seeing starting at prices. Whew. So just to start, keeping in mind, this is Canadian. We're looking at... Oh, here it is. 38,500. 38, we've got 41. Oh, it's because it's a four-seater, Turbo yeah. RR. Okay, so 41 Oh, that is. makes sense. Okay. Okay. So hold on, where are we at already? We're starting at 41,500, like with nothing else. Wait, hold on. What? How, how expensive do you think this can get? 65 at, is my guess. No, wait, it's got to gotta be more. I'm, I'm thinking like early 80s Canadian. I think is how expensive an, an, an X3 can get. $73,400. we are just going to add like everything. everything. So what's the most expensive winch? Nine, nine, 900. Oh, yeah. It's probably got like a wireless remote. Oh, you have to get a pre-runner bumper, I guess, with that. And then the okay, wired added. remote control. Absolutely. Duh. Sign it up. We're talking about comfort and convenience. Are we going to order this when we're done? We didn't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was about to get smacked there, but all right. No. Plows. We need a plow. Of course yeah, we need a plow. Yeah, winter's in... Oh my god. Pro angling system. Oh, and what is it adding? Everything else to hook it up. Okay. Yeah, so there's, course. you know, $3,200. <laughs> That's just fun. <laughs> uh, electrical. electrical. Whew, some options here. Quick connect battery cable. 12 bucks. Add her up. <laughs> Cha-ching. I, I should get that sound. Cha-ching. 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 Can am amplifier kit. We need an amplifier. Speakers. Yeah. Yeah. You know, for when we go to events and stuff. Amp, just, yeah. just, yep. Yeah, hook. Oh my. Okay, you just clicked on four thousand dollars. <laughs> so, it's only money. Yeah, I guess. Um, some oh, things will interfere. Or the other. Okay, yeah. yeah okay. It, they're just interfering. I don't really want to get into adding like the GPS and stuff like that. Like those are, you know, they're offered by Canam, but they're not like. Yeah. You know, I want to stay away from Device that kind order. of stuff. Nah, we can order that on Amazon. Seat, seat heater? heater? Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We need a seat heater. Comes with the wire. Why do you wire click wire. it and it just triples in price? Because it comes with this too. You have to automatically get the... They're upselling us. Absolutely. Yeah. Helmet, rear view mirror. Yeah. We need 100%, that. 100%. 100%. We need... Why is a rear... Oh, it has a camera in it. Fancy. Yeah. Oh, buy this for $700 and then okay, it's just like $1,600. The, because they, they piece it out. Yeah. Yeah. That's how they get you. Heat, Heat advisor, advisor outlet. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, scroll down. I think there's more, isn't it? Nope, that's okay. it. Oh. Okay, we're already at fifty-four thousand five hundred dollars. Cargo and what's, racks. What's it? All the kids are saying. She. I don't know. I've given up Cargo on trying. Cargo and racks. Okay. Mm, shoulder storage bag sounds good. You know, all these like door storage bags and stuff. Totally useful. All of them? Yep, yep. We need all of that. Extra storage. We can go off-roading or not off-roading. Outlander. No. I, th I think Overlanding. we're overlanding. That's the one. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, oh my god. What? Okay, you click on it Wait. for $800 and then you Oh, need the... that's minus. Oh. So, you can't you have can't the roof have rack. It with the Okay, do we want sound or do we want storage? Oh, sound. Rear cage extension? What is yes. that one? Just look at it. Oh, cool. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, you have to get rid of the bumper that comes stock with it. And then put the pre-runner bumper. Mm. I really like that, though. You can put a spare tire okay, and so stuff. Okay, so add this. But we're not going to be able to put storage anymore. Mm. Mm. I'm out. Oh, clicked it. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. No, no, no. So go take go, that I out. I can delete it. Because Oops. odds are, if I were to do this, I would rather get yeah. a cargo box in the back. So there's the cargo box right there, the 12 gallon. That'd be the great. The audio cargo box? We already have audio. So we have all sorts of storage on the inside now and the Spare back. Tire ratchet tie downs? Nah. Okay, so that's cargo. What do we got for lighting? lighting. Whoo! Okay, dome light? It doesn't actually specify where all this lighting's going. 
Dome lights would be good. I would definitely do dome lights. Okay. One little light bar on the front. A 10 inch Baja? Or yeah, little, little tw- yeah. 10s. No, no, no. Just 10 single row. Oh, it comes with the cabling. Yeah. Okay. Harness. How is that? You know, that's misleading. Okay, we're going to sell you this light, but it doesn't work. You need this cable of that course, I'm going like, to yeah. sell completely separately. Wire harness. It's not like it's an upgrade to the base of the accessory that you're getting. Uh, we've got enough lighting. We've got enough lighting. We have to be reasonable. We didn't go up. We, we somehow managed to go up a couple thousand dollars, but... Tracks? Oh, well, we're in Canada. We need tracks. If you just go to the tracks, it'll add the DPS module yeah. and everything like that. Oh, yeah. So that's that's the system that I want for the, for the Maverick. One? This one or this one? The backcountry. Really? Yeah. So I'm telling you right now, look, add it, add it, do it, do it. <clears throat> That's crazy. That's gone up. There, there's another set of tracks. It's all season, and I I don't really care for them. But these back countries, they're unreal. I saw them on Dave's machine when we were doing that shoot. <gasps> Sixty-seven. <laughs> so isn't that your number already? Nope. Seventy-three-four. Okay. Yeah. We're, we're like just in taxes. That's th- that's not even taxes yet. Yeah, that's MSRP. Oh, I'm so wrong too. <laughs> yeah, American. That's like fourteen thousand five hundred or so. <laughs> Central skid plate. Front bumper. Front we already have a pretty cool front bumper. I don't know if I would upgrade it. Oh, okay, those Lone Star racing flaps, that's something I would actually do. It goes on the uh, on the front here so you don't actually ding everything hard. Yeah, that's fair. Where's, sliders I'm in for. The the Lone Star racing rock These slider. Ones? Yeah. Can that be added with... Yep. It did. Okay, right here. It's not visible, though. Oh, my God. Yeah. Right now, we're just trying to build, like, a, a reasonable... Like, I know we're fluffing it a little bit, and we're just kind of adding whatever we want. But in the same breath, there's some things that I just straight up wouldn't buy. Does that say $150 for a foam filter? No, I'm not buying that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Oops. I love Can-Am, but, like, get out of here. Fire extinguisher, support... Just the support is $250. <laughs> Safety third is what we say. So, are we skipping this, or...? Why do I feel like these numbers have gone up massively in the last couple of years? What's a magneto kit? That sounds cool. 850 watts, yeah. We don't... Oh, you know what? With the sound it system... It includes rotor, stator, and regulator. Is that like a... With our sound system, we would likely do something like this if we were going to have any aftermarket accessories. Add it to the build. Is that like a boost? It's like just a... to charge more electrical energy to store. So if you have like a sound oh, system electric... or whatever... Oh, okay. A thousand bucks. Ooh. I do like a Yoshimira slip-on. Yeah. Inline triple Yoshimira slip on, and the other one's just this Yoshimira. Sl- oh, it just has a different exit. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. All right. So. Oh, you know what? Snorkel. What? Can you add the snorkel pre filter, and then it'll just add a snorkel? I wonder. Yeah, snorkel kit. I would totally Boom. do a snor- Add that. We have to take off the shoulder storage bag. That's fine. We don't need oh, that. Oh, okay. We're and then the CVT air intake pre filter. I feel like you oh, could work that yeah, out. Oh, because yeah, that comes stock. And the radio, uh, rad relocate we have to do. That's something I would do. Immediately. I'm so glad they added that to the X3s, actually. Yeah. Makes it kind of viable. Arch lower suspension, uh, heavy duty. So if there wasn't any visibility before, it's all gone now. Oh, sh- Seatbelt, shoulder it. pads. Nah, Kyle we're good. is against these through and through, but he doesn't get it because my seatbelt always rides up and it's like <laughs> cutting me. I get like a, a cut, like a rash. But look at where we're at. Look. Seventy-five thousand dollars. They can't see it because our ugly faces are covering it. But Here. so this thing, without oh, tax, total SMRP, <laughs> says seventy-five thousand uh, dollars, one thousand four hundred and fifteen dollars per month. We haven't even added like a windshield and mirrors, well, let's do it. doors, roof, extras. What what can possibly be left? I don't know to go in extras. Uh, oh wait 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 wait! Don't don't no 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 no! It gets rid of the tracks. What? Nope. Okay, and the snorkel and the rad relocate. Okay. Some of that the makes sense. But can we add that one? Soft try the try the windscreen. No, nope. we can't put that on with all that fancy stuff. We can definitely do a front Tinted a front one. Visors. Wow. So you're telling me they made a roof that doesn't block sun. <laughs> so they sell you another product. <laughs> <laughs> that's how they. That's how they get. That's you. incredible. So <laughs> they invented the problem so you could pay for the solution. <laughs> to be clear, this is my favorite brand, and uh, I'll make fun of them. That's Do you want a half windshield P- power flip. You were talking about that this morning. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, that's funny. Can we though? Uh, it'll get rid of our tinted sun visor. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, 69. How did that relocate? What? Why? That makes no sense. Okay, just don't then. So we're down to doors, roofs, and extras. Okay, I'm particular about the doors because I don't like the ones that go up, like on the Maverick Trail. Like the with the holes in them? Yeah. No, the the shoulder block one. Well, they do that on purpose. It's like regulatory. It's necessary for safety reasons. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They have deluxe <laughs> door handles. Check that out. I did not know that was an option. X3s have the most options for sure. Rear aluminum half doors. Okay, no, I want full doors. I know for sure that no matter what, I would get full doors. So front lower door panels. Do you have to buy them separately? Rear lower, you do too. So get the front lower door panels and then the rear lower door panels. Rear aluminum half doors. No, oh, that one. one. Oh, because otherwise it's open. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's like your. <laughs> it's. <laughs> that's like they just put all these holes it, there that you have to fill. I don't. In. So here's the thing. Is I don't know why thing? half doors. No, I. They just want to sell you something. I don't know why half doors exist. It's either I don't want doors, I want a mesh door, or I want full doors. <laughs> you want window nets? Oh, oh that's like yeah. the window. Yeah. But we we got a track kit, didn't we? Yeah. So we would want those. Yeah. Because of the... Yeah. Wait, so... No. Oh, it's remove all of this other stuff. What? You can't have a rad relocate with windows? We have the whole audio roof. and a, That's so strange. Yeah, so okay. fun fact. Bec we would totally figure out those soft tops. So yeah. you can basically add like $3,000 to this when we're done. Yeah, this is where your dealership comes in. Okay. So we have a fully loaded Maverick X3 max x rs turbo rr with smart shocks we're looking with before this is just msrp at seventy seven thousand dollars seven hundred and fifty seven commodity surcharge of five hundred dollars yeah there's to. all sorts of freeze and taxes so like after over this seventy eight thousand dollars and don't forget the uppers of the doors or another three thousand dollars that i know we would buy it's just this system's not allowing us to put a lot of things together do but, we get a local price? Send it in and they'll be like, oh. what? Yeah, they would choke. Oh. Yeah. Oh, look at that view. Uh, it shows everything but like the rad relocate and a bunch of other stuff. This thing looks gnarly though. Do you know how big this thing is? Huge. Yeah, like we would maybe look get an ATV on a trailer with are. it. Close I think those are really cool. carnivores or something. Pretty sure. Is that the exhaust? Yep. On that the, we bought? Uh, no, not the one that we bought. No, that's the stock oh, one. it's not visible. Yeah, so we bought that triple output like... Yoshimura is supposed to be in there. I have to say I'm not a fan of the stock exhaust placement. Uh, it looks like a... Really? Now I have to go and... <laughs> <sighs> uh, so yeah, that's basically it. Let's pull the trigger. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, not gonna... So, I, I, like X3s, Renegades, those kind of machines are not beyond me. I think they're fantastic machines. I will never, unless somebody helps us or sponsors us or does something, I will never have a four-seater. And that's at 5%. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, if you are going to actually finance this thing, 5% on top of that. So we would have our, our sales taxes and everything else here in our province is like 11%, plus all your fees and your PDI and all of that stuff. What are we talking about, like $90,000? but I'm willing to bet that Polaris is more expensive. We'll roughly rig it out for the same thing. So we got like all the sweet audio system yeah. stuff, obviously, and like the tracks and whatever else. And you can add again $3,000 for the rest of that snow kit. But um, yeah, so roughly $80,000 plus fees, PDI, taxes, all of that stuff. So yeah, what do you think? Extended warranties. <laughs> oh, I never get warranty. So <laughs> yeah, not for us, no. I deal with Pete's sales and service. They don't even offer it. They straight up don't offer it to me because yeah. they know as soon as I wheel it into my garage, I'm just going to tear it up yeah. and put a turbo on it or something. So they're just like, nah. They just, <laughs> like they laugh. They go, oh, warranty. Nah, no. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> Next. So we picked some pretty luxurious features, picked up the whole package, and we ended up somewhere around $80,000 without taxes, fees, and whatever Canadian. 78000 So in this video, we're going to take a look at Polaris's, probably a Pro-R. I haven't figured out what exactly is going to be the most expensive for them yet, mm -hmm. and uh, see if we can beat that. So do you have any guesses? 
And we're talking MSRP. We're not talking about the PID, any admin All fees, anything like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, guessing. See, because you talked about the power I, I was actually the, dead on the money. I said early 80s. So I think I was, I was pretty uh, close. I said I 70. Mm, you said 73. 74, 73.4. I have video. Per, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome anyway. to our life. <laughs> okay, cool. I think 85. That's actually a really good number. You know what? I'm going to go with 80 you know, flat. We can agree. No. Nope. We can agree I on cannot 85. I can agree. <laughs> so let's, let's take a look here. I refuse. Okay. Uh, so what's so the same performance. Probably, probably the Razer. Razer right? Definitely. Four seat. To be fair. To be fair. Pro XP, XP Turbo, Pro R. So look Pro at the R, MSRP on it. Fifty one seven hundred to start. Look at my squinty face because so I can't see. Because the four seat that we started with on the Can Am side was forty one five. And this is fifty three. We're already fifty one seven. Canadian. I'm assuming. Yes. Yes. Canadian. What's it? So what? there's a Pro R Premium, four Premium, and a Pro R Four Ultimate. Ultimate, of course, the it's Ultimate. It's got to be the Ultimate. Is it's it got to be. There's no. Oh, there's no. It's four or three thousand nine hundred dollars more expensive for whatever reason. Loading our 3D experience. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that's what I picked for the map. Okay, that's. Oh that's my cool. God. Sign me up, actually. <laughs> Say less. I feel like we're just living our best life. <laughs> <laughs> How do I? Uh, next. next. Okay. Oof. Accessories. Cl- We're going to try and build it similarly. Sand Dune Rugged Trail. Rugged Trail. Of course. Wait, what is... Is that a package? Accessories Collections. A $10,000 package. Oh my god. Look at all the stuff it comes with. Uh, so we got some wheels and tires. Windshields. <laughs> and everything else. <laughs> I think I was smelling the mic. <laughs> Why are you smelling the mic? Uh, yeah, so winch, fender flares, and a whole whack of other stuff. Is this what we want? So it, See, it's basically naked right now, whereas the Can-Am that we spec has out some base features. Has some base features, yeah. Mm-hmm. Keska Lawai. <laughs> I mean, you know what? Let's start with it. Because, like, there's a lot of yeah. Features. There's bumpers and everything. There's already windshields, some storage. Stage three winch, shots. Yeah. Like stuff that I would add. For so sure. my only caveat here is we just went with the most expensive on the last one. And the most expensive in this case would be the desert trail or the desert package, not is the it? rugged. Yeah. Yeah. But we were also trying to be like semi reasonable about yeah. what we would actually buy. So yeah. I okay. think the rugged trail works out. Just, <laughs> just no tire. <laughs> okay. That now we're talking. We're looking like a machine that I would buy. Yeah. I would never buy a four-seater, to be clear. But or a Polaris. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> never say never. I know, I know. I don't like their ATVs right now, but I definitely like their side-by-sides. That's cool. Pro Armor, some LED light bars. We added a light bar in the last we one. We did, right? yeah. We didn't get the dual. We got the single. 31-inch. Yeah, we just got a little, like, 10-inch guy. Yeah, we did. You don't need all of this okay so polaris is kind of doing a better job of actually showing the product here in their 3d display rear panels doors they actually have a full door to begin with i'm assuming that was it was part of the package let's look at the options still though because we were trying to add like that's the windshields yeah so we're good Uh, Rear panels we've already got one there doors see like that's a that's a fairly decent package what i'm noticing already is on the polaris website you can add like the whole built-in, all-included, mud, desert, yeah. rock. Like, Do your thing. Can-Am does in their base model. So you can have the XRC, the XMR. So well, th- Yeah, I guess. sort of. Yeah. Uh, you know what? HD. I like that. Heavy duty. Extreme. I like marketing. Marketing is good. Yeah. I'm going to add that. Ooh. Why is Ooh. that? Ooh. You know what? Red's, oh, okay. What? Red's okay. The other one is black. Utility and performance. We already have a winch because of the package. Storage and bed accessories. We added this because of the packaging again. Yeah. But see, like that's the storage right there. There's still some room back here, but okay. So that's that's the same as when we did the Can-Am stuff. We already have all of this. What's going on here, Polaris? This feels awfully light. Okay, stage five audio upgrade for by Rockford. Yeah. Okay, we Do it. Have, so they don't have an audio roof or anything like that, but it looks like they have sound systems available. Yeah, front camera kit. Why does it say change? Do we? Oh, we ch- we switched from one system to another. Okay, so you see the sound. Look, oh, even the sound mm. systems in there. Look at that. Right behind your poor passengers, just. Yeah. Boom, I'm not worried about my passengers. Your hair just. Huh. So, 
So you can't snorkel it. You can't rad relocate it. Do they? Not, maybe not for this machine. No. So they. But if not this one, which one? So Canham definitely does a better job where when they develop, let's say they make an XMR version of something. More often than not, any of the other models of the same family, so an X3 or a Maverick Sport or whatever, you can take those snorkels and just put them across the board. They're obviously going to you know, fight with the odd windshield or whatever, but because the Pro R is so new, I don't see any mud options for it generally, even though a lot of stuff is the exact same as the Pro XP, which has been out for a little bit longer. So we're actually at 67000 Which is way at, cheaper. At, well, with $400 and change, plus fees, plus blah, 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 Kyle, plus if you finance it and everything else. Ten grand. Well, here's the thing. We can't buy a track kit for this, right? So if we had that track kit yeah. and all that other stuff, we would definitely be over what Can-Am has. Hmm. But there's just no available options directly from Polaris on a website to, yeah. to just knock it out of the park. So of Polaris course, is an aftermarket dealer's dream. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little more friendly. But what Can-Am does is generally when aftermarket develops something that they like, they just buy the company. <laughs> Seriously, if you take a look at Can-Am's product list on their website, a lot of it is just companies they've purchased. True. Um, or at least have influence with. Yeah, on, on website, we can't beat what you can buy from Can-Am on their website. So surprisingly yeah. enough, there it is. So, I mean, by the time you're at your door, everything you're going to pay, what what are we looking at? 80? Yeah. Huh. It's tough to compare, actually. I thought it'd be a lot more comparable i'll leave it up to you guys mess around on their websites and see what numbers you guys can come up with and leave them down in the comment section so we're just going to smash these two videos together to show the can-am versus the polaris because i thought it was going to work out differently i really did i want to see the back Ooh. i do have to say this is the better looking machine yeah assuming i get the right colors because color means a lot their website renders a lot easier too because they don't have like mountains and a lake and stuff in the background. X3s are sweet. I really do believe that. Uh, but as of right now, I think I'm into this body style more. Mm -hmm. What about you? When it comes to four seaters, yeah. But And like yeah. look inside. Is there the whole screen package and everything too? They yeah. have all sorts of different Built packages in. in there. Like this is why I, I always go in person and talk to a salesperson who actually knows mm -hmm. all of the ins and outs and oh if you buy this model it actually already comes with this and everything yeah. else right so because that, that's something that's the it. the maverick didn't come with was that onboard system the screen the gps the Our ride maverick? with your friends or, no in general the one that we built oh yeah yeah there's so many little there's things the gps there. And like the built-in, but it's not the same they as have the like ride. They like iPad holders and everything else. But Polaris does do a, a better job with their own Polaris ride command or whatever they call it. They have mm -hmm. all sorts of stuff. I know in, in Trevor, dirtlife.ca, he has a Pro XP. And he has like onboard shock things and his screens telling him all sorts of crazy data. like Which um, is pretty cool. Yeah. So yeah. that's it. Like, So we're I looking mean, at, you can definitely hit $100,000 if you really just wanted to blow your cash at Can-Am. You know, we're talking winter kits and everything else. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. that wasn't available from from Polaris, here we are. I so got, it's yeah. cheaper. It's it's cheaper, yeah. Our, our, but, like, you're not getting everything. We were literally driving down the road, and we were like, you know what would be a cool video if we just tried to, like, blow all of our cash? Like, <laughs> semi, semi reasonably, yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. There it is. What do you guys think? Cool. I was not expecting this. So, uh, we will make sure to read all your comments, reply, and see what you guys have to say. Yeah. We'll see you guys next time.